Hey friends, it's time for another episode of the Minis Challenge hosted by Corey from Crafted by Corey. Links to Corey's channel and the playlist will be in the description box. For this DIY, I have a lamb decal, a wooden slat from Dollar Tree, some of the Dollar Tree letters, and some Dollar Tree white paint. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a light coat of this white. I want my, since my lamb is a silhouette, I want it to really stand out, so I want to lighten up my background. Once my paint dried, I took a ruler and a pencil and I just went down according to the width of the ruler and just made lines so I would have a shiplap look on my board. And then I just added my decal. I'm using the Dollar Tree permanent vinyl. It does work a bit better than the temporary vinyl. Um, it it came off um, easier than the temporary vinyl and um, it actually cut easier on my Cricut Joy. And I'm just gonna use these Dollar Tree letters to spell out Lamb of God. And then I just hot glued a tower block on the back so this would stand up. I really love the way this turned out. I couldn't find any lamb decor at Dollar Tree, so I had to make my own lamb of God. I just love this. Okay, I've got some of the Dollar Tree wooden ornaments and upcycle this container and I've got some buttons. At Christmas time, I made a little wagon with um, gingerbread men in it. It was so cute on my tier tray, so I wanna do one for spring Easter and fill it with little chickadees. I'm going to use this crocus yellow for the little chicks. Then I hot glued some packing styrofoam down into my tin so that my little chicks would have something to stand up and kind of elevate them a bit. 
and I didn't really know how I wanted to have them positioned so I kind of played around with how they would be set up and once I was happy with their positioning I added a bit of reindeer moss to cover over the styrofoam. I added in a few golden eggs and then took a piece of twine and a wooden bead and hot glued them to the front so it would be a pull for the wagon. Cute little chickadees rolling around in a wagon. Let me know what do you think of this one. This one is super simple. Found this cute pack of erasers. Look at these adorable little bunnies. And I had another one of these little trucks in my stash. I'd used the pink one like two years ago. I made it a uh, red one and made it pink. So thinking I'll just put like a piece of foam down in here. I don't have to hot glue it. And then I'll get my bunnies attached and glue it down on into my truck. I kept playing around with how I wanted to have them arranged and I finally just put them just around the perimeter of the bed and left the empty spot in the middle so I can add in a few of the little mini foam carrots from Dollar Tree. Really cute. Looks like maybe they just came from the carrot patch and they're going back home to dig into those yummy carrots. Okay, for this DIY, I'm using this Dollar General find. I have two 3D egg pieces. I'm gonna paint each piece a different color. So every um, which way you look at it, you'll see um, different colors.
I really love the way these vibrant pastel colors look on these eggs. I like mixing in a bit of pastel and neutrals in my Easter decor. What do you guys like? Do you like to mix or do you like the neutral over the vibrant colors? And for this DIY, I'm going to do a couple of faux whips. I have a yogurt glass jar that I'm going to um, upcycle and these plastic shot cups from Dollar Tree, some uh, dap spackling, seashell pink and light lavender, and some faces I found on Design Space. So I will go ahead and get my pink sponged Then I take a piece of cardboard to trace on the top of the cups. Um, I'll cut this out and then hot glue them on top of the cup so I can start to build up my base of my foam whip. Okay, my paint is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and add a smiley face to my jar. I'm going to cut half of this styrofoam egg and hot glue it to my smaller cup to use as the base of my foam whip. I don't have any tiny styrofoam balls, so this is all I have on hand. And then for the larger one, just um, half of a styrofoam ball left over from another uh, faux food project. Um, from the floral section at Dollar Tree, they have various sizes of the styrofoam balls. So each of the styrofoam pieces will just be hot glued down to my piece of cardboard and then I'll build up my fake whip on top of that. I'm using DAP Lightweight Spackling. I found this at Home Depot. Dollar Tree does sell a lightweight spackling. Um, it's kind of like a grayish off-white color, so it's best to mix a little white paint with the Dollar Tree spackling, although this is really a bright white, so this really didn't need anything um, mixed into it. I'm using a piping bag that I found at Dollar Tree, and they have these new baking accessories with uh, spatulas and the little um, like plastic scraper that you can smooth out the icing and um, some new tips for the icing bags. And these seem to work better than the previous brand that they were carrying, which I never had any luck with. So I just tried to get all of that spackling pushed down um, to the tip and twisted the bag a bit and get everything um, added to the top of my little styrofoam ball and it seemed to be working fine it the little grooves in the tip were actually coming out in the spackling so i was really happy with the way it was turning out
Crafter Square glass beads will be my embellishments that I'll use for sprinkles since they have varying shades of pink. And then I have different selections of faux sweets that I had purchased previously on Amazon. So I just add a couple of coordinating pieces to each of the whip tops. And here they are all complete. I accidentally smushed down the top of the smaller one, the peak and the whip when it was still wet, but they still turned out cute. Let me know what do you think of these in these cute pastel colors. And for my last DIY, it's another super simple one. This three pack of DIY wood dice from Dollar Tree. I have two bunny erasers left, a couple of pastel paints, uh, crocus yellow, lime sorbet, and seashell pink, and Dollar Tree letter stickers. So I will paint my wood dice. And probably know what I'm gonna do here. Put my little stickers on there and then attach my bunnies to the top. Easy peasy and super cute. Let me know what do you guys think of this. I really love those little erasers. And here's a look at everything together on a tiered tray. Thanks so much for watching. I enjoyed making all of these spring and Easter DIYs. Don't forget, there's a playlist. I'll have a link in the description box. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you on board. I hope you have a wonderful spring and Easter season.